Welcome to the Coach Derek Barrow Show. I am your host, Justin Robertson. Like always, I have the man himself, Coach Derek Barrow. How you doing, Coach? Good, good, good. Much better this week than last week. <laughs> yes, it's been, last Saturday was a good Saturday. You guys got your first win. How does that feel? I mean, the second win. second win, yeah. But the, it's just the win. What do you feel uh, like the first? <laughs> you end the season off uh, with a win. Um, positive way to go into the off season. Yes, uh, how does that feel? Feel pretty good. Um, um, we, uh, we have been searching all week for uh, positive uh, things to take into Saturday, and uh, the kids play hard. Very proud of them. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just, I just got so much, much love and respect for them for, uh, for keeping fighting, even though we didn't have the season that we expected to have this year. Um, still got so much love for them for just keep, keep fighting. Yeah, you guys finished strong, like you said a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, you wanted to finish strong, and you guys certainly did. Uh, so what was that energy like last mm -hmm. week um, at practice? Um, well, actually, the, the energy game? was pretty good, uh, but, but the energy was pretty good the week before also against Kentucky State. Uh, we just had, have not done a good job of, 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 of one, we haven't, haven't done a good job of coaching. Two, uh, we, uh, we let a lot of things slip through our fingers. And... Um, and uh, you know we just, you know we just got to seem to we got to seem to get on the same page. We got to seem to uh, become a better program overall. And uh, you know that all leads back to me. Okay. Yeah. You guys, uh, your offense play well. Uh, plus 200 yards on the ground and plus 200 yards um, in the air. Uh, your, your offense seemed very comfortable throughout right. the um, early in the game to start the game off. Um, what, what was that? The performance you have been looking for from the all offense season. all and, season, and it was the offense that I was expecting all season that we didn't have. Right. So, so yeah, that's the, that's the offense I was I thought we would have all season when we returned 10 starters from the year before. Uh, so, so, I mean, I'm glad they showed up. I just hate they showed up so late. Right. So we only saw one quarterback uh, right. Saturday, uh, Marcus Reynolds. Uh, he was able to connect with all his receivers, right. all right. five of his receivers. Uh, what's his relationship with those receivers? Well, I don't know his relationship with them, but, you know, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, we made a lot of mistakes with Marcus Reynolds this year. We made a lot of mistakes uh, offensively, to be honest. Uh, we probably should have just went with one quarterback and stayed with one quarterback. Uh, but, you know, a lot of things did not go right. or not, A lot of things didn't go as we planned. Uh, but I thought Mal Marcus Reynolds showed this last game that he probably should have been our starting quarterback the whole season. All right, uh, Reynolds seemed to have so much more time in the pocket last week. Uh, how they seem to have holes to run through. Mm -hmm. um, like, was you pleased with, the, with their off, with their play throughout the entire game and your offensive lines play? Well, it wasn't that he had so much time. He just, uh, our, our game plan was to get the ball out of his hands quick. Right. So he had, you know, he had a three-step three drop, so we were just getting the ball out of his hands very quick on first down. So. Uh, but that's something that Marcus should have and could have been doing all year. Uh, we've, 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 we've ran the ball at times good, and then we've ran the ball at times not so good. Right. So we've been, we were very inconsistent this year. Uh, now, defensively, we were very consistent, but consistently bad in terms of uh, being able to stop the run. Now, we were pretty good in terms of the, uh, the pass defense, but, run defense. Know, but I, I thought that our run defense was Wasn't very lacking. <laughs> so, um, Holiday, it was his last game. Um, uh, he rushed for 174 yards, um, and he averaged six yards per carry. Uh, do you feel like him and the offensive line was clicking uh, Saturday? Well, you know, Marcus is, you know, he's going to run hard for us. Uh, uh, he's going to run for hard for us every opportunity he gets. Uh, he's always been a, a plus for us. Uh, he found some nice holes, even when he didn't have anything, he made things work. Right. Uh, so uh, I'm very proud of him. I'm going to miss him tr tremendously. Uh, wish he had another year, but it doesn't work like that. So, so do you feel like he was playing with a sort of chip on his shoulder for, by it being his last game? Um, I, I, you know, no, I think, I think Marcus is he's motivated, period. I think he wants to play on the next level. 
and uh, I hope someone gives him an opportunity to. So I think his chip and his motivation is the fact that he wants to play on the next level. And uh, the one thing I don't do is I don't I don't fool kids. If I don't think you have an if I don't think you you're good enough, I'm not going to tell a kid that you're good enough. I think he's good enough to at least get a shot. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he ran the ball very well. Now, yeah. I, 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 tell, I kept telling him, like, man, that's what I'm talking about. I like how, I like how he, was, he was focused, he was determined, yep. and when nothing could bring him down Saturday. Yeah, right. um, but defensively, you guys, uh, you only gave up 14 points. Right. Um, you sat the quarterback four times. Um, how pleased were you with I the was defense? Very, I was very pleased, particularly we had such a bad first half. Mm -hmm. We couldn't tackle anybody the first half. And in the second half, we, we went out and decided that we want to tackle. So uh, very pleased that, that we only held them to 14 points. We only held them, you know, we held them less than 75 yards of passing, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Uh, a little bit, a little disappointed uh, on the run defense we played the first half. But very pleased oh, that, well. that, yeah, but very, very pleased that they came back the second half. I yeah. played hard. So um, for the past couple weeks, uh, two weeks ago in uh, episode, you said that uh, you, you've been looking for the offense and defense to have like a little balance there. Right. So Saturday, would you say you that guys was, had that a That was the closest game we had to what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, we didn't have a balanced day the first half because the defense was just so bad the first game, the first half. Right. But the defense improved the first half. The offense kept going the, the, the second half. Uh, so that was the closest game to us playing together that we've had all year. That's, yeah. Um, DeMichael McQueen, uh, he led the team in tackles for 13. Uh, how, how, ple how pleased are you with the way he stepped up well, this Well, I mean, Saturday? you know, uh, he's probably our newcomer of the year in terms of the defensive uh, players. Uh, he came in and uh, helped us out tremendously. Uh, he, uh, you know, he still got three, two years of eligibility left after this year. So, uh, DeMichael was a, was a, I don't want to say pleasant surprise, but he was, he, he, he was, you know, he he done a lot more than I thought he would this year for us. Uh, this was a very intense game. Uh, like we said last week, if guys fighting for pride, right, playing for right. pride, basically. Right. So much. it was a very intense game, very emotional game. Uh, the, uh, what were the emotions during the game like? Uh, I don't know what the emotions were during the game. <laughs> I was thinking about trying to call the right plays <laughs> to put our defense in the, in the best possible position. It, it, emotions on the sideline is always reared up, you know. Uh, so I don't know what everybody else's emotions is, but I got a passion for this game. I love this game. So I'm always a basket case. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back with the coach Derek Bro show right after these messages. Lights, camera, action. The Mass Communication Department needs help. All students are welcome to help out with the production of the Coach Burroughs Show every Monday. Any help would be appreciated. And welcome back to the Coach Derek Burroughs Show. Um, this this past Saturday, uh, you guys beat Central State for the first time since they entered the site. Uh, does that make this win a little bit that much sweeter? Um, any win is sweet to me. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, sweet is sweet. Um, but uh, you know, we, uh, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's great that uh, that the kids they worked real hard. Even though we were losing, they still was working hard. I can't take anything away from the kids. We just weren't good enough. But they were working hard. So you know, it's only so much you can say. You know, right. the kids work hard. We still lose them. We just weren't good enough to win, uh, you know. So we got to find a way to get good enough to win. We got to find a way to get better. So, but yeah. that just I, did, I don't want to I don't want to 
I don't want anybody to misunderstand. They were playing hard. We just weren't good enough to win. Okay, yeah, this this, this game was very emotional um, for the seniors. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of seniors uh, come out to come out with a play Saturday. Um, talk about the, how pleased are you are with their efforts throughout the season and um, the, your hopes for their futures. Well, um, you know, when when you when you bring a kid in as a freshman. You, you promise parents, uh, you don't promise parents pro career, you promise parents that they'll be a better man uh, or woman uh, than when you got them. Right. You promise parents that they'll graduate from college. And uh, you know, with the 78 to 80% graduation rate, you know, I can almost guarantee that those, uh, how many ever seniors we had will graduate from Lane College. So, um, you know, the pitch is a little bit different at a small <laughs> HBCU school right. and it is at a Power 5 conference Yeah, we school. talked about that a yeah. couple weeks ago. So, I, I, just, I, just, I just promised parents that I'd do, it, you know, do, do the best I could do in terms of making sure they go to class, making sure they graduate, making sure uh, uh, that, you know, that you get a better man right. uh, when back when, when, uh, when I, I, I get back to you. They yeah. to you. There you go. Right. Uh, so uh, it's been a rough season all season. You guys finally um, get your second win at home. Um, does that win impact the younger guys going into the next season? I sure hope so. Um, we were looking actually for anything. Uh, a lot of positives uh, can impact a lot of kids. Uh, you know, the win can work in, a, in, the, in the positive just, just like it, it could work in the negative. Some kids, some freshmen may were undecided about whether they wanted to come back to Lane or not. Um, and maybe this win, you know, helped decide uh, for them to, to, to stick it out with us. Uh, you, you never know uh, from year to year, you know. You hope you can retain our student athletes, right. just as we, we hope to retain our students. But sometimes it doesn't all, all the time work out that way. And sometimes, you're, a lot of times, your record have a lot to do with that. So what kind of lesson do you, do, do, you, do you expect and did you get out of um, this past season? Um, I don't know if, I, you know, you know, you can, you can learn lessons from winning just like you learn lessons from losing. So right. I mean, if I was going to learn anything, I, I want to learn my lessons from winning, you know. So <laughs> I don't know what lessons I learned that I didn't already know. Um, but, you know, um, this is a this is a very passionate game, and this, you know, um, you know, this game means a lot to me, and uh, I like for I like for it to mean a lot to our kids. All right. So. Okay. So for for the for your players um, that's coming back uh, next year, um, what what lesson do you hope they they got from this past season, like the well, well, rights and wrongs? And right. Well, for them is. Uh, is the commitment that this game uh, has to have. Right. Uh, I'm not sure that we totally understand that this 16, 17 week commitment that we have, uh, it's real. And uh, you can't treat it as if this is intramural football or club soccer that, that the kids are playing right now. Uh, this is, you know, of course, this is the way we, you know, as coaches, this is the way we feed our families. This is, this is a very serious game to us. And, uh, you know, if, if, if there's any lessons to be learned, you know, we, we took a lot of unnecessary bumps this year. Uh, but we took a lot of unnecessary bumps because I don't think that we were totally 100% committed right. to, uh, to trying to be the best team we could be in terms of watching film in terms of not doing things to our bodies that we know that wouldn't help us during football season or, or wouldn't help us be the best players we can be. Uh, uh, the, the time and devotion that we need to be in the best players and the best students we can be. I don't know if that was all there. All right, so um, you, got, you are losing a lot of seniors. Uh, talk about the process of, uh, um, of getting players into those uh, positions that you're losing, like the running back spot. Yeah. With how they leave it this season? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of holes to fill, um, and uh, we got to go out and do a better job in recruiting, and uh, that which opens a whole another can of worms. Uh, but uh, we got to do a better job in recruiting. We got to do a better job in identifying uh, 
players that can come in and help our football team. Right. And uh, we got to identify better student athletes and uh, better people. And, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll try to identify those kids from winning programs. So, so when you lose, it hurt, it's hurts them. You know, a lot of times when you recruit kids as kids from winning programs, it hurts them to lose. But right. when you recruit kids from losing programs, it doesn't bother them to lose because they're used to doing it. Right. So um, we just got to do a better job in overall recruiting better kids for better programs. You, uh, the players get a break um, before coming into camp. Um, like, w w how important is it for them to stay sharp um, during this break before coming back? Oh, well, I mean, it, you know, We'll, we'll have volunteer workouts where the kids can come in and, and go through volunteer workouts and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the kids now, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if you know, but a lot of our, our student athletes are, are two sport uh, athletes, yeah, student like, athletes. Uh, Aaron Thomas. So uh, a lot of them will be uh, moving on to track and field. Right. Uh, so um, so a, a lot of them will still keep their bodies in shape. Uh, it's just uh, the physical part you, you have or you don't have. It's the mental part that takes you over the top. And we need to help train our mental, mental game, uh, sometimes even before the physical body. Right. Um, do you ever watch film like from the previous season? Um, All the time. <laughs> like in the off season. And like, how does that prepare you for the season? Coming well, it, 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 it helps me out with the calls that I make mostly. Uh, right. It, it allows me to, to know that, that this is a call I want to use again, or it'll, it'll, um, it'll work in just the opposite to say, hey, listen, don't use that call anymore. Remember, we got scorched on that call. So <laughs> when I watch film, uh, I'm really watching film to see uh, the, the calls we may use uh, for the next year or the calls we definitely don't want to ever use again. All right. And uh, we'll be right back with the Coach Derek Barrow Show right after these messages. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College. The power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. Come on a journey with us to a world connecting you to your college. With a world that is changing at a rapid pace and is technology driven, the Mass Communication Department provides valuable news and information to the public, providing commentary, entertaining through film, radio, television. You can count on the Mass Communications Dragons to keep you on your toes and in the know of the latest activities going on on campus on all social sites. WLCD, the voice of the Dragons. And welcome back to the Coach Derek Burrow Show. Um, like every week we've been doing all, se all season, all episode, uh, we said send in audience questions um, to, uh, to contact us to ask any questions to Coach Derek Burrows. Um, so if you do have any questions for Coach Derek Burrows in the future, um, or if you have any questions, you can contact us, us at broadcast at landcollege.edu and on our social media outlets at on Facebook at Lane College Athletics and on Instagram at, at Lane Athletics. Um, so uh, this is last week with the audience questions. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to hop in. Jasmine asks, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas are coming up. How do you celebrate the holidays? Well, you know, family is important to me. Um, from a very large family, so um, I've invited all my family up to spend uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas with me in Atlanta, uh, where I live. And um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to spending Thanksgiving with my family and uh, just kind of getting away from getting away from football just for a minute and, and uh, a little break. Yeah, yeah, spend a little bit. Yeah. Good family time. Family time family, does yeah. that. Uh, Jordan asks, "Do you enjoy watching the other Lane teams play, and do you try to support them as much as possible?" Absolutely, absolutely. As I remember now, more than just a head football coach, I'm an athletic director too. So, <laughs> right. And even if it wasn't part of my duties at an, as an athletic director, which it is, uh, 
I love basketball, uh, men's and women's. Uh, uh, Coach Bates has kind of made me understand the, 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 the small nuances of baseball. I played baseball when I was uh, in Little League, uh, but I never could hit a curveball, so <laughs> I still had to figure, I figure out how to hit a curveball. So I've uh, uh, been, been uh, supporting softball for years. So I, I, I love everything we do around here. And the volleyball team has just stole my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so just came in and stole yeah, your heart. They, they just have stolen my heart. Yeah, they're so getting ready to go to the conference yeah, uh, next man. week. If I'm yeah. And more, you know, more than just, more than just them being a great group of girls, you know, I, I walked in church the other day at, uh, at St. Paul, and, and, and now, and their choir consists of our volleyball team. So, and I never, and they sing so well. So they just, they're just a great group of girls. Man, that is wonderful. Um, Jay asks, B basketball season starts next week. Um, what are you looking for, looking forward to, looking forward to all of the lane basketball teams what are you looking forward to from the, well from the i think i think once we get on the right track i think we we've, we've been doing a, a great job over the last couple of years mm -hmm. uh with our basketball team uh coach baseball has done a great job and then when you have success you want to keep going you want you want even more success so and i think you know in his case i think he's he's done a great job over the last couple of years and then the more success you have, the more people expect of you. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, he's done a great job, and I and and most of us are looking forward to him uh, continuing it, the success that he had with our basketball team. Yeah, you get another championship ring yeah. right here in the Dragons Den. Um, Ramiron asks, uh, as athletic director, how will you, your focus shift from coaching now that the season is over? Mm -hmm. Well, just a lot of more administrative duties, um, cabinet meetings, uh, a, lot of, a lot of administrative things, fundraising, and that's something that I really, really like doing is, uh, is the fundraising part. Uh, uh, I like kind of uh, engulfing myself in the community, in the Jackson community. Uh, so um, it just switches now from t not totally away from football because we're still recruiting, but it's a lot more administrative stuff uh, than just going to practice every day and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, Josh asks, you said earlier this season that you don't like to, you don't get a lot of sleep and time at home during the season. Right. Now that the season is over, does that change? or? Or are you looking forward to a bit of a break? No, I, I, I am, and, and <laughs> I'm, I'm very much looking for a bit of a break. And then my coaching staff, it, it's been a long 16, 17 weeks, and they and they need a break, and I and we all need br a break. So yeah, I, I am gonna try to get a little bit more sleep than <laughs> than uh, than I have during football season, and I hope my coaches do. Uh, we all are human, and we and uh, you know I don't want to run myself raggedy uh, to the point that I can't continue to love this game uh, like I like I do. Right. So uh, yeah, it takes a little bit more pressure off you when you're not in season. And you got that extra hour to do the daylight yeah. savings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Lindsay asks, if you go out for a night on the town in Jackson, where do you go, and what do you like to do? In ja I, well, I went to the Flatiron a uh, couple of nights ago. Flatiron? Yeah, I went to the Flatiron. What is that? Flatiron Grill. Uh, Flatiron is a nice restaurant in the columns called the Flatiron. you never been to the Flatiron? No, I haven't. Okay, well, it's a really nice upscale restaurant. Uh, $80, $90 steaks, oh. you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I went to the Flatiron <laughs> after the game. You uh, talking about you ain't never been to the Flatiron. No, I've never been to the Flatiron. Yeah. No, I ain't well, never been to the Flatiron, not with those practices. <laughs> No, no. It's, I went to the flat iron after the game and uh, and had a just had a sat there and had a had a nice meal and uh, it was two hundred dollar meal, but it was still nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a good time. It was a good time. Got the win. Yeah, got the so win, and I had it. a nice meal. That, that was. <laughs> oh man, um, Nathan asks, um, what do you like to do to relax? You know what? I'm a I'm a big uh, football fanatic. I'm a big college football fanatic. I'm not a big pro football fanatic, but um, I like to go home and I like to, believe it or not, after we get through playing, I like to watch other people play. So, and my favorite team uh, after Lane College is the University of Alabama. So, uh, I'm a big Alabama fan. So, I, I'll come in and watch 
watch uh, Alabama highlights or highlights from the from the rest of the season. So, so, uh, what's your favorite movie? Alex Alexis asks, what's your favorite movie? Movie? Oh, that's why? easy. That's a, easy. Tombstone. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, Tombstone. Uh, why is that your favorite movie? Huh? Why is it your favorite? Why is it my favorite movie? Um, it's a lot of little catchy phrases in the movie. Um, and, if, and if you've never watched it, you probably wouldn't. You probably, <laughs> yeah. probably wouldn't relate to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tombstone or the Five Heartbeats. I'm, 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 I'm a very, uh, I like nostalgic music. Not I like the Five Heartbeats. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> um, I like nostalgic music. Uh, I'm an old school. Uh, I like old school music. And uh, the Five Heartbeats kind of give you the acting and the old school music combined so uh tombstone and the five heartbeats of, of um, i probably watched both of them at least 300 times <laughs> yeah i probably watched five heartbeats yeah. about 200 yeah. times yeah. um brian asks think of one person past or present that you have never met that you would want to meet who is that person and why would you want to meet them uh that's that's simple jesus christ um uh i've always uh wondered what it would have been like to have spoken to Jesus or ha or to, to just sit down with him and, and pick his brain about all his knowledge about the world and and uh, you know I hope one day I still get an opportunity to meet him uh, but that's an easy one because I always I've always said that you know I would have loved to have met Jesus, Jesus Christ yeah yeah, that would that, that be a great day to meet Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> um, London asks, Landon asks, um, when you're on the road, what do you like to go and eat, and where's your favorite place to go? When, I, when, I'm, when I'm on the road with the team or by myself? Both. Well, when I'm on the road with the team, we, we eat at the same place. We eat at uh, uh, Golden Corral. And our kids love Golden Corral because they get a chance to eat as much as they want, <laughs> as many times as they want unlimited you know they can go right. as many times as they want and I and I like the fact that it, it's away from campus mm -hmm. not, they're not eating cafeteria food not that there's anything wrong with the cafeteria food but here on the road on the road I mean so <laughs> I, I like to watch them kind of just have a good time eating as much as they want to eat me myself personally I don't go to Golden Corral when I'm not with the team, I, I kind of like fine dining. I like, I like nice restaurants. I like to go to restaurants where they have valet parking, all that kind of stuff. So. Oh, so you get a little bougie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about no bougie, but I just like fine about. dining. All right. So um, this is the last episode of uh, the second season. Yeah. So uh, honestly, how have you like working with hey, the You know what? It's been it's been real, man. Uh, you know, the one thing I made up my mind to do is. Uh, that win or lose, I was going to try to be here every every week, and I, I, I didn't want to walk in with a bad attitude when we won, when we lost, and a good attitude when we when we uh, when you know I didn't want to walk in with a bad attitude when we lost and a good attitude when we won. I wanted to make sure I was here uh, every week, and uh, even though uh, you know even though inside I had a bad attitude, <laughs> but, but I hope that uh, I hope that this was a good experience for you and, and uh, the Lane College Communication Department. Uh, it hasn't been a great season, but I've had some good talks with you. I've seen you mature uh, with, uh, <laughs> over from the first interview we had, <laughs> where you were sweating like bullets <laughs> up until now. And uh, you know, I want to congratulate you, Thank and, you. and the Thank department, you. and you guys have done a great job. Thank you, man. That means a lot coming yeah. from the head, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, so there you guys have it. Um, my name is Justin Robinson. This is Coach Derek Burrows. And, and, and we, I appreciate it. All right, let's end it like that. We appreciate it. All right. We appreciate everyone for watching yeah. the Coach Derek Burrows show each and every week. Um, and we'll see you guys next season.